Well, thank you for joining us for the Floor Yoga Flow. A couple things before we get started. Just keep in mind today that you should be working within your own ability. We will be doing some poses in standing and some on the mat. So if you have any doubts about your ability to get down to the mat and get yourself back up from the mat, then I would suggest that you return to the website and tune in to our pre-recorded chair yoga flow. Uh, I will give you some instructions as to how to take your time getting down to and up from the mat uh, so that you transition there safely. Another couple uh, props that uh, you should have here are a chair uh, for stability. We'll be using that to get up and down. Maybe a block or a book. We may use that to bring the ground closer to us in a couple poses. And maybe a strap or a towel. Uh, just to enhance one of our stretches. So we're going to begin today in our mountain pose. Grounding through the feet, through the balls of the feet, the heels, the insides and the outsides. Finding some dynamic strength through our legs, strong core. And let's take those shoulders back and down. And stretching up through the crown of the head. We're going to now bring our focus onto our breathing. Inhalation and exhalation. Any distractions that come along, just acknowledge those distractions and then just let them go. Each time, bringing our focus back onto the breath. At any point during our flow, if you need a rest break or you're not comfortable with a flow, you could come back to your mountain pose and just focus on your breathing. Or if we're down on the mat, I'll be showing you child's pose, another resting pose where you could just stop, check in with the body and focus on the breath. So now just noting the pattern of your breathing. And we're going to begin with some warm-up now. So we're going to take those legs wide. We're going to point the toes out to the side. The knees are going to track right over in the same direction as the toes. We're going to extend those arms up for some moon flowers. We're coming down, bending into the body and out. Inhale up, exhale down. Moving within a comfortable range. Drawing a connection between your movement and your breath. We're going to switch that to sunflowers, sweeping down in front, sweeping up again. Seeing how those shoulders feel, how the hips feel. Staying within your limits. Starting to feel some warmth building up in the body and come back to our mountain pose. We're going to move into a chair flow. So feet about hip width apart. We're going to inhale the arms up, seat is back, or you have the option of taking those hands onto the thighs. Inhale up, exhale down. Keeping your weight back, hinging at the hips, and let's go into our airplane pose, coming forward, reaching back with the arms, and then into a chair. Airplane, chair pose. Just finding a comfortable flow for you as we get nicely warmed up before we move into our work phase. All right. Coming into lateral flexion, we're going to stretch through the side of the body. So let's inhale that right arm up, our left hand at our hip, or maybe reaching down the leg to extend that stretch. Taking a couple breaths here. 
Breathing into those spaces between the ribs. And on your next exhale, bring that arm down. Other side. Inhale the arm up. Finding your arm position. You could even have a hand on the chair or hand on your block for a little extra stability. Couple breaths. And exhale that arm down. Coming into our chest expansion, we're bringing the arms back. We could interlace the fingers behind or we might take our strap or towel and with those arms extended behind, lifting them away from your body, relax those shoulders down, stretching up through the crown of the head, breathing into the chest. Gentle chest opener here. One more breath. and release. Coming into our warrior sequence. From our mountain pose, take an inhale. On the exhale, we're stepping back with the right foot, turning those toes out to the side, bending our front knee, hips and shoulders, pointing forward as we inhale the arms and heart up to the ceiling. Keeping a strong knee over ankle alignment in our front leg. Shoulders are down. Breathing into the chest. On your next exhale, you're going to open up the hips and chest to the long edge of the mat. Relaxing the shoulders down, stretching out from fingertips to fingertips for warrior two. Keeping a strong knee over ankle alignment in that front leg. Grounding through the feet. On your next exhale, you're gonna drop those arms and step back to mountain before we switch to the other side. Checking in, just seeing how we feel having done one side. Take an inhale here. On the exhale, we're stepping back with our left foot. Toes come out to the side, bend that front knee. Inhale the arms up. You have the option, you could keep your hands at the heart center, or you could turn your chair, have hands on chair for balance. On your next exhale, we're going to take those arms wide, open up to the long edge of the mat. Shoulders are relaxed, stretching through the fingertips for our warrior two. Avoiding letting that front knee roll in or out. And on your next exhale, drop the arms and come back to our mountain pose. Moving on to our balance pose, tree pose. Here again, you have the chair available if you'd like to use that for balance. We're gonna start by grounding those feet, roll those shoulders back and down, bring the hands to your heart center. Shifting the weight onto one leg, the opposite leg comes in to the standing ankle, or to the calf, avoiding the knee. Finding what works for you today. So that may be keeping the toe on the ground, hand on the chair, keeping the hands at heart center, or extending those arms up. Couple breaths. And bring it down. Switching over to the other side. Taking our weight onto the opposite leg. Bring that foot in to the standing ankle or calf, not against the knee. 
hands at heart center, maybe extending those arms. And if those branches are blowing in the breeze today, find a spot on the ground to look at to help steady yourself. Focus on the breath. And let's bring it back down. We're now facing the chair, coming down to the mat. We're gonna take an inhale up. Exhale, forward fold, hands come down onto the chair and gently coming down onto the knees for wide knee child's pose. Sitting back, stretching out the hips and taking a moment to check in with our breath. Check in with our body, noting if there's any areas we need to be taking care of. Coming up from our wide knee child's pose, we're coming on to all fours. Stacking our shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Keeping our back and hips level. For spinal balance, we're going to take our weight onto the left hand. We're going to raise that right arm to shoulder height, keeping the body nice and steady. Couple breaths here. Switching sides, keeping things level. Left hand comes up to shoulder height. Left hand comes down, and now extending through our right heel, lifting that right leg to hip level. Keeping the back and hips level as we breathe. Stretching out through that heel, through the crown of our head. Bringing the right knee in and extending left heel out. Left knee comes in and we are going to move into cat and cow. So inhaling, looking up, tailbone to the ceiling. Exhale, round the upper back. For a few more times. Inhale up. Exhale, round. Finding a comfortable motion. Taking a break at any point where you need to. And back to our neutral spine. Coming down onto one hip, we're going to swing the legs around for butterfly pose. We have a couple options here. You can bring the soles of the feet together, opening up the knees and the hips. Hands are just loosely on your lower legs. We're not gripping with the hands. We're not pressing the knees down with the elbows. If this position is difficult for you, you might try the option of crossing ankles with the legs a little further away from the body and then work them in a little closer to your body. So either crossed ankles or soles of the feet together. Staying long through the spine and deepening that stretch, you could hinge forward at the hips. Take a couple breaths here, breathing into any tight areas. And now bring those knees together. And from here we're going into reverse tabletop, a strength building pose. So you will have to know where you are today. 
and what you're able to do and what your progressions might be. So with soles of the feet in the ground, knees and toes are pointing straight ahead. The first stage would be to lift those hips up slightly off the mat. and releasing when you need to. The progression would be lifting the hips higher, so you will need to decide how high to lift the hips today. Be patient with the process and take a rest break when you need to. So again, maybe that's lifting hips just off the mat or maybe bringing the hips higher, keeping that chin slightly tucked so that we're not overextending through the neck. Grounding through our feet, through the hands, and when you come down, do that slowly, bit by bit. And relax. Seated spinal twist. We're going to extend the left leg long. Bring the right knee in towards the body, sole of the foot into the ground, extending through the spine. This may be the position for you here. Or you may take that left arm, wrap it around the right knee, keeping that spine long, couple breaths. And on your next exhale, slowly rotating back to center, we're going to switch legs. So now the right leg is long, left knee comes in towards the body, sole of the foot on the mat, either staying here or maybe wrapping that right arm around the left knee. Stretching out through the crown of the head. And on the next exhale, slowly coming back to center, bending both knees. We're coming all the way down to supine on our backs. So hands can be behind the thighs for a little support. We're going to slowly start to roll down bit by bit. And once we are down on the mat, we're just going to extend those legs. Take a minute to adjust to our supine position before coming into knees to chest. So to begin with, you could have knees bent, soles of the feet in the mat, and you might start with one knee at a time, bringing it in close to the chest. Or you might bring both knees in. Back to the breathing. And as we release, one leg at a time. If you stayed with one leg, then switch to the other one now. So bring the other knee in. Maybe this is where you stay. Or you might want to bring both knees in together. Breathing into the chest, the ribs, the sides. And then releasing one foot, the other, and extend those legs long. For our supine spinal twist, you may want your block nearby to support the stretch. So here we're going to have left leg extended or you could have that knee bent sole of the foot into the ground. We're gonna bring our right knee into the chest and take that left hand to guide the right knee across the body. Maybe having that book or block available. Right arm is extended in a T shape out to the side and we're keeping both shoulders down on the mat. So by taking your block, you could 
find a resting position to stop that pull of gravity. And then guide that knee back up and release the foot down. We're going to switch to the other side. So now we have right leg extended or you can keep the knee bent sole of the foot in the ground. Bringing the left knee in towards the chest. Have our block available. You might stay here or you might guide that left knee with your right hand over towards the floor using that block to find a comfortable resting position keeping both shoulders on the mat so that may affect how far you guide the knee left arm extended in a t-shape out to the side And guide that knee back to center, sole of the foot on the ground. Let's bend both knees. Before we move into our final relaxation, you could have legs extended on the mat, or you may choose to keep those knees bent, soles of the feet in the mat for the lower back. So whichever you are more comfortable with, you're gonna allow those legs to fall out to the side, arms slightly away from your body. And here we are releasing any tension, finding some relaxation, and just melting into that mat. You might close your eyes here. And again, take your focus back onto the breath. Nice, easy breaths. You can take as long as you'd like in final relaxation. I'm gonna show you now some tips for getting back up from this position. So when you are ready, you'll first bend the knees, soles of the feet into the mat, rolling over to one side, taking your top hand, you're going to press into the floor to come up onto one hip. And then we're coming to a seated position, maybe with ankles crossed, maybe cross-legged in close to the body, finding a comfortable position so that we can just adjust to the change from lying on the mat to now seated. Here we're going to take a couple deep breaths. So let's take an inhale. Exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Last breath, biggest breath yet. Inhale. And let it all out. From here, you're going to come over onto all fours. We have our chair nice and close. We're going to come up onto one foot and the other, and then sweep those arms up. One last inhale. Exhale those arms down. And again, take a moment here to adjust from the transition now from seated to standing. You have your chair for support if you need it. Thank you for joining me today for the Floor Yoga Flow.